Hi guys, today is the episode 4. We are mid February, temperature starts to raise up. It's a good thing. So, today's agenda first, I will present you free lighting system I have set up to make my uh, early ceiling. Then, I will show you how to clean the foam filters, and it will include uh, an important advice about that. And then, we'll do the traditional visit of the greenhouse. So let's go! So I tested out three systems. The first one, as you can see on the screen, is a poor quality article LEDs. It cost about 17 euros, let's say 19 US dollars. The good thing is that you can hang it easily and you can orient it in front of your seedling tray as you can see on the right. Here is my other system I built. So I bought some real horticle LEDs as you can see at the bottom right. The measured power is about 7 watts, something like that. By the way, they sold it as 28 watts, so be careful. <laughs> it costs about 4 euros. So of course, you can buy it in China. You can buy an electrical socket you can see on the top right uh, with a piece of metal so that you can hang it on the frame and it will cost you about two euros as you can see I made a wood frame and plugged uh, four LEDs so let's say with the electrical cords that the total cost is about 30 euros as you can see I'm not a carpenter but it's standing still and it's working fine. Then you need a silver effect hardback cover on top of it to prevent eye disease. Um, the silver effect will reflect the light and give it more to the plants. The good thing about that is we are doing early seedling, so uh, usually it's not too warm in the garage or in your greenhouse or even in house or your apartment so you have a gain of about two or three degrees Celsius or so let's say four or six degree Fahrenheit which is a good thing and then our last setup I bought an article LED panel of 600 watts I hang it at the top to have enough room between the panel and the plants have to be an average of one meter I put all my seedlings in a tray and all is moistened by the bottom. Uh, you see uh, all my seedling here. I have some chives, and some parsley, not in very good shape. Here is the lettuce, and everything is in the closet, of course, to prevent eye disease. Okay, after the lighting systems, let's have a look to, uh, to the filters and how you clean it. So you can see on the pictures, especially on the left, I have some foam filters and over time seaweed are growing a lot on it. Because of the water and the light, it's producing uh, seaweed and at some point you have to get rid of it. But what you don't want to do is changing the filters by new ones because all the bacteria of nitrification are standing in it. And as you know in aquaponics, this is fundamental to, to keep them. It's very important to keep them in the system to transform ammonium to nitrite and then to nitrate. So what you want to do is to clean them gently with water maybe with a, a bit under pressure but not so much and as you can see on the picture on the right the clean filters and then you put it back in your system so the advice is be careful of your bacteria because you are in aquaponics let's move on to our traditional greenhouse visits to start with, 
I'm going to show you like a small life miracle. Chive is growing back. I just understand that chives is a multi-annual plant, so there's no miracle in it. It's just I didn't know it. Lettuce is growing slowly. Lamb lettuce had too much moisture, so it almost died. But the other lettuce is growing well, close to the first harvest, I guess. Strawberries has new leaves and new flowers. Especially new leaves in the center. You can see that the new season is coming. Still a lot of flowers. You can see here and there a lot of baby leaves. Of course, some small fruits that won't go to maturity. Notice that the seaweed are also growing on top of the tower matrix. I did a custom cover, not the best one in the world. It needs improvement, but you can clearly see the difference. It's much better. It's preventing light to eat the matrix. Let's have a look at the fish tank. Remove the protection. Okay, everything looks fine. Everyone seems to be pretty healthy. Water temperature is almost 10 degrees Celsius, so it's 15 Fahrenheit. Everything's fine. This is the end of the episode, so thanks for watching. Bye.